Hello, this reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising Signs. Okay, so the card on the right is from the bottom of the deck, and I'm going to come back to that message. I want to start with the card in the center, and that's the, the Seven of Swords. So what I'm seeing here with the Seven of Swords facing this Magician card is it's coming up as not really being sure about how to approach something. It feels like there's maybe a little bit of chaos. There may be something coming up that in involves a decision that in the past you may have felt like you, you didn't make the right choice about, you didn't approach correctly, or it didn't benefit you. The way that you approached it didn't benefit you that well. And now you're, you're looking at other tools to use and other ways to manifest what you, the outcome that you want, essentially. So there may be some decision you're facing. Coming up in the same row as the King of Cups, I, I feel that you, you're feeling some strong emotions um, moving into September and, and possibly throughout September. There's really a lot of of, of cup and love energy coming up for you. So there is an opportunity for you to embrace something loving. I do see a connection. It's very clear with the, the both the two of cups coming up in the reading and the, the lover's card. And then also the, the king of cups, which I feel is how you're coming up in this reading. So some of you may be male, uh, some of you female, of course, and I feel that for the females, I feel like it's, it's still coming up as the King of Cups because there's this sense of that decision, you, you wanting to, trying to find out how to make a decision about it. It may be that you feel you're the one that needs to approach the situation or, or like make the first move, for example, and that's why I feel like it's coming up as, a, as the, the masculine card. Not that I feel that that has to be a masculine thing, but with Tarot, that's, that's how the energies work sometimes. So it feels like maybe being in a position of more of the, the decision maker making the move in terms of a, a love relationship, it feels like. I'll also, I'll, I'll come back to it still, but I, I see the King of Cups looking at the Three of Pentacles, and so I do feel like there's some planning there and you may have already taken some of the first steps towards this or you, you may be planning on how to and it's, it's linked to, to what I was feeling with the, the Seven of Swords and the Magician card. There is this hint of the Seven of Swords though that whatever it was in the past where you maybe you feel like you didn't make the right decision, it could be just a relationship decision, it could be how you approach going into a relationship since that's what it seems like you're faced with right now but it could also be how you handled yourself or something to do with a relationship in general so maybe not approaching going into it but whatever that is you know it's it's not just like this this two of pentacles upside down or something it's coming up as the seven of swords and so i i can't help but feel that there there's something that you feel you did that I honestly feel like you're being too hard on yourself about something, how, I mean, a decision that you made. So I don't know specifically what it's about, but I do feel that there's an issue with confidence and believing in yourself and, and believing that you will make the right choice and also possibly forgiving yourself and realizing that maybe you did make the right choice in the past, whatever that was. Even if it, you could have gone about it differently, possibly, it feels like it was meant to happen and it got you to where you are right now. So think about it. Maybe it really was the right decision because I'm concerned about the, the, the kind of negative side of this card and I feel it, like it's how you're perceiving yourself as maybe not having made the most honest decision or honest move or something along those lines. But also with the King of Cups coming up, it does feel that you you acted with your heart, that, that it was something that you did from the heart, regardless of how it came across. So I'm not saying that it couldn't have been done differently in some way, 
maybe to make things smoother, but I feel like you're being a little too hard on yourself about whatever that was. And that's going to be important with this new decision because of this new phase. Because seeing the Two of Cups and then the Seven of Swords and the Fool below it, you are being invited to begin on a new path, take a new journey. It does feel like a union. And it feels like that could get in the way. It doesn't have to, but it, it already feels like it might be disrupting things a little. It, it really feels like lack of confidence. That's how this is coming up for me in this reading. Act with your heart. I, I feel like you may not be super comfortable doing that, being an earth sign. That's also, I think, why you're looking at this three of pentacles. You're looking to kind of pull in some more of that earth energy, which we don't see much of in, in the whole reading. Um, there's a little hints of it here and there, but you're looking at that planning, which is, is what you like to do. And I feel that you're being encouraged to act with your heart. And if you do, looking at this other column with the Three of Cups, the King of Cups and the Lovers on the right side, there's so much beauty in this union that is possible. It may not be someone who's come into the picture yet. So if, if you don't have someone in mind, it could be that something is coming up for you. And it could also be that you're you're being encouraged to act with your heart so that you can bring in some of the energy required to to make it a good environment for meeting someone and finding the union that you want. Because I do feel as the King of Cups that you, you're very much wanting this, that this is a focus for you right now. This is definitely you in the reading. I, I feel that energy. So I feel that you're full of love. For most of you, honestly, I do feel that there's already someone in the picture because you've already developed emotions for this person. And it, there is in store for you, if you can get over that minor roadblock, a cause for celebration and a really beautiful union. And so I feel that you're, you're always going to have in mind some of that Three of Pentacles energy and some planning. There's also a message there that that's okay. Some of that's okay. Don't let it get in the way, but it's who you are. And I think it's also possible that it will help you to move at a good pace in a possible new relationship coming up. Okay, I want to look at the Empress with the Magician and this Page of Rods. The first thing I want to say is that the Page of Rods, this Page of or Page of Wands, is looking at the Fool on, in the bottom left corner. And it's similar to the Sagittarius energy. Check out the Sagittarius reading. We had this happening. It, with, with Sagittarius, there were some other things going on, but I don't know if you're Sagittarius rising or on the cusp or possibly this other person you have in mind is a Sagittarius. But there's some similarity and crossover here. And what I'm getting from these two cards facing each other is that there's some, not necessarily hesitation in this new beginning, but some energy that, that may make it feel like uncertainty in taking this new path of this Fool card. It's, this is the novice, and so I feel that the fire energy is there. It's also starting something, but seeing them face each other like that, there's just a little bit of uncertainty, maybe even some defensiveness. It was actually the Knight of rods for the Sagittarius reading and it just it feels like because of some other things going on for you right now there may be some hesitation and doubt and also getting doubt of of beginning this new journey that might involve this union of this lover's card so I just want to reiterate that the both the page and the fool can be new beginnings but because and they also they align because they're both fire energy so that's really good, and I ultimately I do feel that there will be movement forward and that you will take this, this new path, but it feels like because they're facing each other like this and because this is the novice and because of some of that energy from that Sagittarius reading, I really feel like there, there may be a little bit of hesitation. For you, I'm, I'm picking up on that lack of confidence again, but this is coming up for you for a reason. I want to say for some of you, there may even be a little bit of feeling like this person is too good for you. That may be a little bit extreme. Um, 
I don't think it's that much of a lack of confidence, but something along those lines. You may it may just be a different kind of person that you wouldn't have you wouldn't have seen yourself with, you didn't expect to see yourself with, and that makes you a little uncertain. But for some of you, it feels like you you might even think they're a little bit out of your league or there's some intimidation there for some reason. But this is happening to you for a reason, and this person is coming into your life for a reason. So embrace it. Try to try to get a hold of your confident self because you're going to need it for this journey. That's what this feels like. With the Empress and the Magician both having such wonderful gifts, I feel it's also speaking to the union of these two people. So you could be either or. Um, and so in a sense, there's three parts of this reading where there's this union happening. The Two of Cups, the Lovers, and with the, the Empress and the Magician. So what I'm getting from that is that the loving unity is very much there or going to be there. This is something coming forward for you. I feel that there's seeds being planted to, to get you to this point. And yeah, so for some of you too, if it's, if it's something that might feel like it's going to take longer, take some more time, or maybe some seeds are, are just still being planted, this also could be involve union within yourself. So keep that in mind when I mention this, but what I want to say about the union either within yourself or with these two people is that there's three areas in the reading. There's this emotional it's compatibility, it's mutual respect, and it's it's unity and loving unity. And then with the lover's card, there's a couple of things there. I'm feeling it in a spiritual sense. I feel that spiritually, you're very connected. It's a great connection energetically and also sexually. I'm feeling that from this too. So that's a, a union. And we're looking at the compatibility, it feels like. I feel I feel that the message here is that there's compatibility on so many levels. So we have that emotional side, the the sexual part, the spiritual part, and then with the Empress and the Magician, I feel that it's in the work that you do, your intellectual side even, but also just your gifts, your personality, how you handle yourself day to day, what you have to offer each other, so not just gifts and tools in the work that you do, like literally at work, that could be really compatible too, but also gifts that you have to offer each other. It's interesting because I, I realize it's not, it's not the, the emperor, which, which would be more of the typical union for the empress. And so I just want to tune in and see what's going on there with that. I think it's coming up because it, it, it highlighted for me, it brought in the message of, of the tools being used and some of the actual work that you're doing. Because in my readings a lot, the emperor comes up as, it can be about boundaries, it can be about a place. And I feel that the magician here is, is highlighting more the types of compatibility that you would have with this person in the work arena and also the gifts that you have to offer each other. There's also that, that blend, that sense of a blend of earthiness with air as well. And so that's something that's coming up with both of these cards. Okay, and just to come back to the Three of Pentacles, again, I feel that there's a message to pace yourself because, and I see a link to the Three of Cups, there's the two threes. So there's that celebration, there's all of that emotion. It's okay to bring in some of this groundedness energy to help balance that out because you're going to like that. And ultimately, I think it's going to help you pace yourselves. And it's also a message for some of you that this may take some building or may have already begun. Thank you so much. Take care.